All right, so we are going to start our first mission. T minus five seconds. I just sit here and look pretty, right? Uh, no, I'm going to make you do everything. <laughs> I meant while it was loading, but okay. <laughs> what, do, what do I need to do? I, I, I'm in a loading screen. I can handle this. Well, you got to be, you're still behind me on the loading. Mission field status, squad size two. Easy, many side missions. Roid uh, horde arrival is late. Random generation, and I couldn't read the rest. All right. All right. What do I do? Where am I? And how the hell do I move? Okay. So WASD is your camera. Okay. Uh, basically, that moves your screen. Spacebar lock or uh, goes back onto your character. Okay. So if you hit, just tap it, it just finds you and follows you. You hold then... shift for aim. And as you hold it, your crit will multiply to a limit. Oh, I see that goes up. Okay. Yeah. And then it looks like it's right click to move. Yes, right click to move. So if you actually hold it and, and aim, you get a 30% crit bonus, which is, that's pretty nice, I think. I'm assuming explosive barrels explode if I shoot. Yep. Yep, you can shoot them. You... Well, those look horribly. Yep, these are little strolls. Okay. What's up with the green thingy, uh, basic locker over here? So, a basic locker is where you're going to find your loot. It's a low quality locker, and you, most of the time it's going to be ammo in a green locker. They are. I got a stimulant. Yep. Lockers are color coded. So this is a red locker. This is a high quality locker. Most likely a higher, higher quality is going to be found in here. Okay. So if I open it up, I got a satchel. Is so, that like an, oh shit. Yeah, so, so go ahead and hit the E button. E. Yep. And okay. that, that will put you in overwatch. So that's like auto shooting yes that's just auto fire but it does cap your energy bar i, I believe 30 <laughs> yeah yeah i'm down 30 percent or 30 yeah so you can do that you can also click on the stroll manually too if you want to target certain ones you can just left click oh i see but then you're gonna have to put your overwatch back on Oh, it disengages Overwatch yes. when I do that. Got it. Um, okay. Let's see. How much ammo do I have? Your ammo is going to be located on the bottom right. Bottom. Uh, the bottom right, they'll okay. have a, a number next to your magazine picture. That's and the it, 10X I see. Yep, yep. So you have 10. If you highlight your gun, it will say Gar. Your magazine size, I believe, is 50. And it takes reload 1.8 seconds. Okay. Yeah, it, it takes one magazine for 50 rounds. Okay. What's this stroll sample up? I see. Uh, so by killing bigger creatures, you can get stroll samples. Just a stroll sample. It's kind of just like a, oh, I found this little DNA thing. It's gonna give a team a crit chance bonus and a health bonus for. What is that? 240 seconds? What, okay. like four minutes or something like that? Yeah. Something like Sounds that. Sounds about right. And as, um, if you pick up another one, it will stack and the time will reset. So you ha you can stack those as a team. That's cool. It's just a team how, bonus. How do I know what my mission is? Um, if you or hit, is there a mission? Like, what are we doing here? So your first mission appears on the left. It's... It will be gold writing, I guess, or yellow, orange. Okay, so field status, secure the research facility. Yes. So you will have a giant yellow arrow next to your character. That will tell you... Okay, the, I see it. Yep, that will tell you the direction you need to go for the okay. mission. And if you hit tab, you can bring up the map, and it kind of shows you the sector it's in. Well, the sector... I see and if you click on the map, you can actually map out path pathways you need. Oh, that's cool. Need to okay. go. So you just left click. Yep. 
and as you play you will find out entrances into buildings so like the little golden marks next to the building is a door so okay. there, there's a door there there's a door right there so you have to try to try to keep in mind where the so, doors are too okay so we could like go up and go straight through all those doors to get in yeah so we could go here and turn on to the power yeah all right so let's get a uh, let's get moving on this i guess yep and i will do my thing as a medic here what's the red bar at the top the red bar, the red tuna yeah tuna in need why does a fish need help <laughs> a, a tuna is is a vehicle so this is a secondary okay. mission So, so basically, it's a, like an APC vehicle. So we can either go do the secondary, which is they have three minutes to go protect it, or we can just stick towards the primary, based on what what, what your mission is that you need to do to complete. Is nor normally you stick with the primary. Primary, okay. Secondary. Oh, that thing is big and ugly. Yeah, he he will actually eat you. I don't want to be eaten. He will actually eat you and walk away from your teammates. Oh, that sounds lovely. Oh, and there's lockers in yep. here, I see. Yep. Ooh, good. ammo. That's helpful. Yep. Well, we're going to need some ammo. If you look on the top right, they actually have the stats for your primary and secondary ammo. So you can actually see your team stats. Oh, so we're both running a bit low on ammo. Yep. Got it. <clears throat> How do we get more ammo besides the lockers? Lockers and I believe the engineer can craft ammo for the team. But Got it. So and the engineer we don't have one of them. Yeah, and the engineer is a downloadable content character. Okay, he's a DLC character. Yes. Got it. So our mission is to turn on the the power in the research center. So we have to right click on there, as you saw. <laughs> It looks like you don't yep. need to be anyone special to do it. You just nope. have to do it. You just have to right click and the timer will go. Okay, and then So now the the mission has changed. Says download the field and uh, you know, the next mission field analysis data. Uh, yes. So we have to go to the computer. Got so you, it. Yep, you can use the map to open the map. You could remark if you'd like. And well, that's a lot of guys. So you have your shotgun as a skill. Okay. So as you hit the pluses, you can upgrade your skills. Yeah, that's your secondary, which is Q for secondary. And you can just left click. Or you can use your skills on your character skills. Oh, I see. How do I use the buckshot skill? Uh, You have to hit the, the pluses above the... the the skills there to upgrade your skill uh, okay how much how do I know how many of those I got that's a good how many pluses I do not know honestly it does not tell you normally you you upgrade as you go so uh, I don't see anything anywhere there's a little four next to it but so I would click all of the all, all your skills once just so you, you can play with all the skills so okay. hit the hit the plus once on all of them done and then go ahead <coughs> and just pump the rest in your favorite one that you're gonna think you're gonna like i like grenade the idea of grenades lots of pew 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 good okay and then as if we have another big group we like that the tuna. Can, yeah <coughs> the the apc died <laughs> someone must have ripped good. a big one so one large ration filled fart so yeah if you yeah right click and we're doing computer work it looks like i've picked up some different things revive a teammate a satchel charge bond, uh, bandage proxy mine stimulants yes so there's different ways you can place those down you can Left click on one and left click on the ground. Yep, just like that. And that mine, as soon as it, 
I believe it's either three or you see the little circles next to it, the, yep. the empty ones. If it fills up, then it'll blow up. So it needs a high enough threat to blow up. So if you have like one little dinky monster, it's not going to activate because it's too weak. Okay. What's up with the incendiary explosive? That is one that will burn. So it does little damage, but it burns. Oh, I see. There's the there's the yellow. Yeah. So it will. It slowly burns them. They're good for uh, the biomasses. So or entrance ways, as you see. And that proxy thing really does not seem to want to go off. Yeah, as you see how, because these guys are. The, so if a bigger person came in, it will go off. Or three. Oh, there we go. Alrighty. All right, so we investigate. Now we have to investigate the field status. Yes. So go ahead and try to throw your grenade on these guys. Okay. Hey, it's, it's, I like it. Yeah. That's a big boom. Yep, it's good. Anytime and there's a cooldown, it looks like. Yes. So anytime there's bigger groups like that guy, you could have you can use your shotgun on. I believe I, I can't remember where you set your skills at. I think it's number two or one. It, number two is my grenade. Number four is my shotgun. Okay. So anytime they come at you, you want to use your energy blast. And go ahead and Got just it. spam those as much as you want to. Spamming is good. Yes, okay. it's you have energy. Yes, you need to watch it, but it's you know free damage. Right. So we hit our spot. So basically, they said go kill the guy for research purposes. So he's actually on your map. So if you hit tab. Oh, I see. Yep, yep. He's right. way up there. Okay. So we can either go this way and run. Oh, I see the cone there. I did not realize that. So we can go ahead and make a right. Yep. And go ahead and try your skills out. I'm going to go ahead and oh. just kind of. I'm just putting little booby traps to cover our tracks. Sounds good. I turned off my auto stuff since. Yes. So if you have it on shooting, you will run slower because you're aiming. And well, then... I'm almost out of ammo. I only got two mags left. Oh, okay. So if you need ammo and say like, oh, hey, hey, Tree Borkum, you have a lot, you know, can you spare some? You can press X and I can just drop out magazines. Oh, that's cool. Thank you. Uh, do I need to push X now? Because it looks like you got nothing. Nah, I don't need it. Well, somebody's cooler than me. <laughs> You're going to do all the fighting, so. So, you see the gray the gray bars under him? Those are armor bars. So, throw your grenade at it, and that will break it. No. Yes. You do not want to hit yourself with a grenade, because you will hurt yourself. I just found that out, yeah. Yep. Ow. He is a boss atrocity. And if you actually left click on them, you can see what what what's you know good against them, like what's gonna do more damage. Yeah. So you can go ahead and use your shotgun blast for when they're you know, when there was a group like that, yeah. Shotgun blast, grenade, just start chucking those, shooting those. Right, okay. Alright, like so, that? Yep, yep, just use it. So the, the energy shot will go through you, which is okay. Anything explosive will hurt your teammate. Got it. Um, so we killed him. Yep. So now we have to go get the supplies. The supply cache, that was for the secondary supply cache. We have to go to the research. Oh. Yeah, we're going to have to go into this building and around. Okay. That's a big statue. So doors, if you don't have the power to turn on the door switch, you can right click on the door to smash it, or you can hold your shift or caps lock to shoot the door. Oh, got it, got it, okay. So there's three ways to open a door. Could I also use a uh, satchel charge on it? Yep, you can blow up the whole door. Uh, Seems like overkill. Yep. Let's see, you can actually, you can put a satchel charge right here if you want to try it. 
Oh, yeah, just, uh, well, I, there's a hole in the wall. Well, yeah, oh, just for demonstration purposes. I would love to demonstrate blowing up a door. <laughs> you don't want to lose uh, your fingers. Satchel so, charge right there. Yep, and then you're going to want to stay out of the red circle. And then to activate them, you have to hit G to prime it and then G to explode it. Oh, cool. And that is it. So GG and it's all blown up. Yep. That's appropriate. <laughs> uh, most buildings, once you turn on power, will have a calibration ter terminal. And most of those are global buffs for the whole team. So, okay. So you're going to want to do it. So I did this one right here is for a, a suit small capacitator, which gives you the whole team three energy. So that's, you know, more mana or however you want to call it to use your skills. Okay, that's why I'm up a little bit on energy now. Yes. Oh. We got to fight over the door. There's other characters that can bypass doors so you can keep it locked and let them build up. That's cool. Okay, so I, I went here. Yep. And Analyze then, the mutant's DNA. Yep, because this is kind of like the lab. They have little research tables or whatever. This oh, is, that's what this yeah, and now, data terminal's for? Now, Yeah, this is the lab. We went into the lab. Here, we found the lab. Now we got to go to the computer to upload the DNA of the mutant. Uh, so I clicked on it. Nothing seems to be happening. Above your head, there should be a gear with a circle loading. Oh, I see. Yep. Oh, that's happy. Yep. So we completed field status. That is your, I think your first primary mission. So that's my, uh, I needed to do that to, to promote. I, so if you hover your mouse on the bottom left, I can't remember what it said. I should have remembered. Oh, I see down here. All right. It will say in, I think, uh, deployment challenge. Right. Kill 200 monsters, loot five lockers. Oh, okay. So, yeah, you just got to kill. Uh, I've done that. If everything's green, you're good to go. Okay. Everything's green. I'm good to go. So, I think we just need to leave then? or Yes. Well, what do we do now? So, now we need to leave. Oh, that's, how do you jump uh, on? Yeah, oh, yeah, you, you just, just walk, walk You it. walk and grab it. You walk and grab. You're a natural. I'm a big boy now. All right. So this is something you just got to learn. Our helipads. Helipads, there's only one on here. So if you look at your map, that is a helipad. And uh, What, you circled in blue? Yes. How do you know that's a helipad? I know just from experience, there's ones that will have a circle. This, this map doesn't have it on it, but it will be like a like a helicopter circle. You just have to right. look for them. Okay, so we have to find a helicopter circle to get out of here. So, and so on this map, will it always be in the same place? No. So every one of these squares are randomly generated. Got it. So a square that looks like that is what's going to get yep. us out of here. Yep. So... That, you can use that, and then you also see the arrows on the side of the maps. You, Say that again? Sorry. If, you, if you look at the map, the arrows, the blue arrows, yeah. those are, uh, you can leave the sectors from the side of the map, okay, too. Okay, so you can just go to that to, to leave as well. Yes. So do we need to go do that locate marine? That is part two to your primary quest. Primary quests have more than one step. Okay. So do we need to go do that, or should we be out of here? No, we can we can be out of here. We we've done what we needed, and now we leave. We can stay if you want more practice, but this is just the first run. Well, let's uh, let's get out of here, and then we can look at the uh, upgrade process and how that works when I level up. You see it? You see in the writing, evac zone. Ah, yes, I do see it says evac the zone. And you walk into it, and it starts the timer for one minute. And if you stand in there, you get a buff called hold position. And it pretty much gives you what your adaptive system does, just good everything. 
where I am or where you are? Uh, anywhere within this this circle. You'll see above. Oh, got it, got it, got it. There will be above your skills a hold position that keeps loading. Got it. Yep. There are certain covers, and then I think your adaptive systems let you cover as long as you hug walls too. On buildings, you, you'll get the same buff. I think what we got 15 seconds. Uh, I don't. Yep. 12. Yeah. 11. And so, uh, okay, yeah. That's my little health, healing drone. As long as you stand in there, you get health. Yeah, and that's it. All I, right. You can, can we just walk up to it? Yep, I'll let you grab first. Just in case you fell, I wanted to catch you. How Can you fall? <laughs> no. And that is it. And that's our first match. All right, so... Match type ranked, easy. So, yeah, it gives you it looted 31 lockers, objectives. It tells you the whole team stats. It took us 20 minutes, 20 seconds to do one mission. 23. Uh, hey, <laughs> I'm learning. It's okay. No. All right, so hits taken, damage taken. Yep, that's um, fine. It shows you your magazine. Specialized magazines are secondary magazines. Okay. Aim, that's about average, 80s. That's fine. Sometimes most people are over 100, or if you're about 50, you might want to start thinking about how you're shooting. Hmm. <laughs> uh, kills, high value kills are anything bigger than a normal little zombie looking one. And cool. that's pretty much the gist of it. A lot of people look at uh, energy spent just to see how much Great. they use skill wise. And. All right, the, let's the, return to the main menu and check out what So happens. the host hits the return to main menu. Otherwise, you normally get kicked out of the lobby. Which just happened to me. Yep. But now we know. Now we know. <laughs> so that was your first run. Thank you for watching this video. If you found it helpful and enjoyed it, please leave a like and subscribe. If you missed the first video in this series talking about the basics of the game, please go back and check that out. Also, we'll soon be posting another video about the skill tree. Thank you again, have a wonderful day, and stay safe out there.